James Hamilton for MMA UK um, here at the higher level opening day. I'm joined to my right by Craig McIntosh. Um, we've managed to get Craig to come off the match for a few minutes and have a wee chat with us. Uh, so Craig, I guess first of all, um, what, what's your thoughts on the new gym and the facility James has managed to get built for the fighters? Yeah, it's looking absolutely amazing. Um, this is uh, my first time actually seeing the place, so it's looking fantastic. I kind of believe the, the mat space as well, so uh, having the cage up there is a big bonus as well. Just, I've asked a few guys this, obviously you can remember the early days training with James at the old higher level gym and then coming into a facility like this. Um, how much does that speak to just the progression of the gym and um, Scottish MMA as a whole that now uh, he's have a facility like this in Scotland that he can come and train at? Yeah, I think uh, I think this place has been a long time coming, to be honest. It's been an idea to James's for a while to, to have something like this, but um, I think he's obviously a bit of perfectionist now to make sure everything was perfect before he made the decision to kind of start building it and he's got everything right and uh, that's the, like I say this is my first time seeing it today so it looks amazing fantastic is it, um, obviously your first time seeing it today so I'm sure you've always saw some pictures online I don't think uh, the pictures online done it justice uh, to be honest with you when you walked in and you see the facilities not just the fact you've got a cage there and the, the space for grappling but it's the other things like up the stairs there's space for dorms and, and showers and everything like that and so do you, how much do you think this is going to help even just the younger guys coming through at the moment uh, help their development that they can get in the cage and train and they've got all that space here to work in? I think, first of all, having the cage is massive. It, it helps with like um, your footwork and stuff like that quite a bit so you can cut guys off a lot better. And um, Obviously, you're not banging into other people when you're sparring and stuff like that. So I think that's going to make a massive difference. And even sometimes, even just strategy-wise, getting um, you know, f full five minute rounds and maybe with three five minute rounds with one person can be interesting sometimes because it makes you think more strategically about how you're going to try and win that those three rounds over a, a longer period of time um, rather than just doing sometimes five minute rounds with individual people so that helps quite a bit um, having the sort of big large mat area as well as the striking area as well it's going to open up the option for you know if you if you were just solely focusing on grappling then you're going to have the ability to just grapple every day you know you I mean, there's, there's space for you to do that while other classes are on and stuff as well. Um, so i see seen that. And then obviously the, the dorms, we get uh, quite a lot of guys coming over to train and stuff. So uh, having the dorms up there is massive as well so that guys can you know, feel comfortable. They can actually sleep in the gym and train over. And probably some of the younger guys will maybe end up just taking bunking up there as well and thinking, no way to leave, I would imagine. <laughs> Uh, there's obviously, even like yourself, you are a bit of a drive through here, and there's guys that are coming from quite far out, so I think that's definitely a bonus for, for you guys to have. Um, and ju just last thing, obviously, your brother's not here today. Uh, he, he's in, he's over in South Africa with Callum Murray. Callum's got a massive fight coming up for the, the EFC featherweight title. Um, he's fighting a guy that the gym knows well. Just give me, give me your thoughts on that fight and uh, how, how you think things will go out there for Callum. I think uh, I think Callum's dangerous anywhere. Um, it's just really what he said. I think he's happy to keep the fight standing. He's happy if the if the fight if the fight goes to the ground like and and Cabeza tries to wrestle him. I just can't. I can't see Callum no submitting him. Um, at some point, it's a five it's a five five minute rounds. That's a long period of time. Um, and Callum's dangerous. If you give him one chance and he gets hold of the neck in and at all, he's going he's going to put him away. Um, See, I, th I honestly, when I've, I've watched back the choke that Danny caught him in, when I watch it back, I, I thought to myself that he tapped early. I thought he, he tapped really easily. And I think uh, if Callum gets a hold of his neck or anything at all, then if he's going to tap that easy, then he's going to tap pretty easy the next time as well. I think actually he was just scared of Danny the last time um, when he tapped, when it was the first option he had. And you find that in Jiu-Jitsu a lot of times, or in MMA especially, and more so in MMA, you'll find that you know you catch guys in uh, certain submissions and they'll, they'll bail out before it's even on um, but it's usually other factors that's done that you know if you've hit them quite hard before it need them punch them before it then they're just looking for an option to save face um, and I think he maybe had a, t a tough night heading with Danny and I think if Callum gets over his neck he's going to he's going to find a I feel a different kind of squeeze as well so, so it's safe to say then you believe that the, the new gym's soon going to have a shiny new featherweight sure belt to belt to come in the first one of many of my swimming definitely I'm looking forward to seeing him coming home with that he deserves it for all the hard work he's put in you know he, he sacrificed a lot today to even be at these fights and to even make training so um, and you see that when he's with his family and stuff like that it's massive for him you know what I mean like covering his daughter missing him and things like that so um, being away there even just showing that being away for, you know, for two weeks it's, it's huge you know getting the, you know, it helps with FaceTime and stuff like that obviously but um, he deserves it for all the hard work he's put in so it'll be good to see Perfect well thanks very much for the uh, time Craig I'll obviously let you get back in the match mate Thank you Cheers Thanks, thanks.